What is it like to be a woman who excels in a male-dominated field like mathematics? Nobody ever takes it for granted that I'm very skilled at what, what I do. In our society, a negative stereotype exists about women and math. It's always pleasant to surprise somebody with my abilities, but I have to prove myself every time. And what is it like to be a talented African-American college student in our society, where a negative stereotype exists about blacks and higher education? We feel that pressure because we know that we represent, uh, you know, being that one black person in a class, you may very well be the only interaction that certain white people or Asian people uh, may experience with a black male. Psychologist Claude Steele says there are negative stereotypes about all groups but he's interested in how people experience negative stereotyping. He calls the impact stereotype threat. Steele says once a person is in a situation where the stereotype applies, then you also know that you could be treated in terms of that stereotype, judged in terms of that stereotype, in some sense reduced to that stereotype. And that is really all there is at the core of stereotype threat. That's what that term refers to, is that experience. The experience can be stressful. Very much so. I often felt, because there would only be two or three girls in a class of about 40 or so undergrads, and the teachers, the professors were generally male, and I felt like I had to do better than most of the guys in order to be accepted. And if you care about that situation, that's a critical feature of it. If you care about performing well there, then it can really be, add to the pressure. It can, can begin to distract you and preoccupy you with how you're going to do. On the test, you see people getting up early. You start to think, oh man, I must not know it as well, or I must, uh, I must be behind them, when really that might, may not be the case at all. And all of that kind of thinking and preoccupation and worry and, and probably anxiety uh, can maybe interfere with your performance there. Good morning, everyone. You can Today feel this threat like a spotlight. You can feel that, boy, I'm right here, under, I'm performing under the spotlight of this potentially stereotyped judgment of me. Steele's original research examined math performance in women and men who were equally matched for ability. They were tested separately on a very difficult standardized test, and they were told that the test showed gender differences. The test proved frustrating. And in our reasoning, it was the frustration that would make the negative stereotype about women's math ability seem relevant to their performance right there in that situation. And in this condition where both men and women are told that the test shows gender differences, you can see that women, the lighter bar, dramatically underperform in relation to men, the darker bar. To remove stereotype threat, a second set of students were given the same test, but with a slight change in instructions. We said something like, well, uh, you may have heard that uh, women don't do as well as men on difficult standardized tests. You may have heard that, but that's not true for this particular test. And with just that slight change, stereotype threat disappeared. You see, women's math performance goes up to match that of equally skilled men. Stereotype threat has also been examined in black and white students. Again, participants are given a very difficult standardized test and are tested separately. Students know from experience that standardized tests are used to measure ability, and Steele believed that in black students, this belief, when combined with test frustration, would trigger stereotype threat. They'd know at some level, perhaps semi-consciously, that their frustration could confirm that stereotype. That's exactly what happened. Uh, the pattern of results replicated perfectly the pattern of results we'd found earlier for women our black students performed dramatically worse than our white students, even though, uh, as is always the case in this research, uh, they were equated for their abilities coming into the test. But when a second set of students were told that the test was not an ability test, but rather a test of problem-solving ability, black-white performance differences disappeared. When you eliminate stereotype threat, they wind up showing exactly the same performance in this situation. How might we reduce the risk of stereotype threat in our society? Some research is being done with children to encourage them to view their abilities as changeable over time. By seeing skills as something that can grow rather than as being fixed or limited, the risk of being affected by stereotype threat may be reduced. 
On the college campus, some evidence exists that by encouraging participation in racially mixed groups, the impact of stereotype threat can be minimized. And other work has shown that just learning about stereotype threat can actually reduce its impact. Such knowledge can help students to realize that feelings of frustration are normal and that they are experienced by many of their peers.